hi guys welcome back to my channel today the video is about the importance of the direct contact with nature and mostly why we should develop a good habit of spending time in nature I will explain you how to do it so stay tuned and let's go so the first thing I want to tell you is how to spend more time in nature and really what is happening now with all this COVID thing is that we are getting worse and worse with our mental health so spending time in nature which is our home for uh, myelinia and for eons and eras uh, we are a species that was that developed uh, in a nature in nature in environment so we depend on it our brain depends on it and really what is happening now is because we are so immersed in our um, city life with all this technology that we are suffering from nature deficit disorder and the reason for that is because we don't uh, spend the time we are required in nature so how do you spend more time in nature is what I am talking about so the first thing I want to tell you is the secret for spending more time in nature is to develop the habit of spending time in nature and by nature I mean a park like this as you can hear probably uh, we are very near some roads which is not very good actually but it's what we have during the pandemic and uh, near my home so I hope you understand that this is not the purest of the nature environment but actually it's quite good so um, that's why I'm saying that you should uh, have the good habit in spending time in nature well guys so what is an habit an habit is something that you do automatically that you have learned and now it belongs to the automatic actions you do every day without thinking of it well the reason for habits to exist it's really because you need something to rely on <clears throat> because you have to do a lot of thinking and you have to do a lot of stuff during your life and your brain is trying to develop anything that is possible to uh, do it automatically without thinking too much of it to become automatic so the habit is a way to the brain to perform better and you to perform better so habits are something that you should be aware of because they all develop in the same way well habits have four main things and they are basically uh, what we call the habit um, four so it is the cue you have something that reminds you to do something that pushes you or that invites you to do something that is the cue um, for instance if, if you are a smoker probably if you see a cigarette you have the cue for smoking okay and then what you have is the craving when you have the cue for smoking when smoking has become available what you do is you crave it you desire it okay and then you have the response well you you you, you do smoke it or you, you you try to smoke it you try to obtain your cigarette you try to obtain or try to do the usual stuff to get what the reward that is the final stage of your habit so you get the reward and this is a loop a feedback loop so you have the reward then you have the cue then you have the craving then you have the reward the, the response to the craving a positive or negative response and then you have again the the reward and you build the 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 main one the cue so um, really what, what for instance for food what happens is you feel anxious then you eat 
yes, you have the cue and the cue is I'm anxious. If I eat, it will be um, my response and the reward is I will feel better or I don't, I will not feel anxious. And then, of course, what happens is that you will feel guilty. And when you feel guilty, you feel depressed. And when you feel depressed, you feel anxious. And when you feel anxious, you eat. And you get the reward not feeling anxious. But then you will feel guilty again. So this is a feedback, a, a feedback loop. And uh, I will try to give you a positive one. So if you uh, know that if you going to the nature, it will make you better, it will make you feel better, it will reduce your your stress, then you will, if you have the cue, if you see the, the, the landscape, if you see the, the beautiful trees, then you have the cue. And of course, if you love to do that, you will have the craving. And if you have the craving, you do the response, you go and you spend time in nature and of course you will get the reward you will feel more calm you will feel more um, distressed and less anxious so you get another feedback loop because if you have the cue again you know how you feel and you develop the habit so this is mainly what is the components of the habit so in, in, in resume it's the cue the craving the response and the reward so why should you spend more time in nature well as as in the beginning of this video I try to explain you try to tell you this is because you are a, a human and humans evolved for thousands and thousands of years within nature our brain is a product of that development in nature so mainly you are at home when you are in direct contact with the wild and why is this so important and why you are uh, lacking it as I told you you are suffering probably of nature deficit disorder uh, which is something that most of our uh, youngsters and, and children suffer. That's why we develop so much um, mental issues and mental health problems and body problems and physical problems. We eat too much, we don't spend that energy and we spend too much time watching videos and, and watching the social media. Well, you are looking at a YouTube video actually. <laughs> but you see, um, you have to spend more time in nature because it will reduce your stress, it will prevent you to be uh, anxious the, the power of nature has that effect on you. There are several studies that support this and you have to look at it. So you have to take care of yourself, especially in these pandemic times, in these pandemic awful times that you are in your home or you have to just to do some commutes between your work and your home and you are working from home and you are away from your tribe well, you are in family, but a tribe is a, 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 a group of families. And if you are only with your family, probably you are suffering from other things, regardless of your direct contact with nature. So uh, if you can't at least be with your tribe, please, please try as much as you can to be in direct contact with nature. If you love this video if you like it and if you learn something from it please just be kind and subscribe to my channel leave a like or a comment and let's carry on and remember to spend more time in nature it's good for you it's good for everyone even in these pandemic times so guys see you next time in my next adventure bye